welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are finally back with another workout vlog, another workout video, if you will. I am currently still on the clock at work, but I'm patiently waiting. I have one more hour left to finish this hour up and get this workout done, girl. But yesterday was my birthday. We celebrated my birthday. I'm gonna insert some pics here of what my man did for my birthday. I wanted a Jujutsu Kaisen theme and really a Gojo theme. <laughs> And he went above and beyond and slayed that shit. I'm currently sipping on some ghost orange sickle. I think it's orange, orange, orange cream. I swear this shit said orange sickle. It's pretty good. I give it a seven out of 10. I give it a set of seven out of 10. I needed this. I needed this. I am so freaking tired today. And that's the other thing too, because my birthday was yesterday and I was like, girl, I really wish I would have requested off work today so that I could have just slept in and not woke up at 5.30 this morning. All right, guys, <sighs> it's time to start the workout. The energy drink is doing its damn thing. I'm feeling <laughs> very jittery, but I need to put my hair up. I've been trying, trying, keyword is trying to experiment with hairstyles. It also just depends on the day that I'm training. Cause if I'm training chest, I can't have a low pony or a bun. You know what I mean? It's just not going to compute. It's, you know what I mean? The girls who get it, get it. You're boop booking your head on the fucking shit. So it makes your head sit at a weird position and it's not optimal, especially if you're benching heavy, you want to protect the neck. But I'm thinking I'm going to do shoulders today. Maybe a high bun. As you can see, I rushed to take my work shirt off. Like girl, I'm not on the clock. I'm not on the clock. Do not talk to me. I'm just kidding. But am I? <laughs> I feel like a high messy bun with some bumps. You know, like sometimes the bumps just give character. Just give this, give it. Is this what we're giving today? Pull some pieces out like this. Or is this giving too messy? Talk these somewhere because that's the thing too is because I have layers in my hair they like to pop out everywhere which sometimes is a vibe but then sometimes you know it's a little too much yeah. you know you know the carbonated drink burps that's also another reason why I need to drink my energy drinks like at at least one hour before my workout because if I chug it too fast and I'm burping and then I'm bloated and I have like a freaking bloat belly and that's just not a vibe when you're working out. You know what I mean? I think this is what we're gonna work with. This is today's fit. I have this tank top that I got for my birthday. It's like a full tank top, but I rolled it up. I just like this, this top. It's very optimal for shoulder day and that's honestly the sole reason why I feel like I need to train shoulders today. Wet pants from Nike. And I got these curry donks for my birthday. So usually I start off with this shoulder press machine. It's a plate loaded shoulder press machine, but there is a couple people kicking at the front desk and that's where the shoulder press machine is. And I really don't feel like being around people right now. I'm not in the mood today like that, especially when it's right by the front. So we're gonna go into the back corner in the dark, dark corner by ourselves. I'm gonna, we gotta warm up first and then I'll let you know vibes. All right, I have to get super close to the camera because I'm not trying to get copyright because I am right next to the fucking speaker. We did some band work with the band to warm up our shoulder meats. Did a little bit of external rotations, internal rotations with the dumbbell. And now we're gonna go into our first warm up set of a dumbbell shoulder press. And I'm thinking, I'm gonna do something light right quick. We'll do 22.5, 22.5. <laughs> Um, usually I use my warm-up sets to kind of figure out where I'm gonna be during the workout. So I think we're gonna just go up to, uh, let's start off with 35s. Uh, 
legs felt very good. You see me with my Ariana Grande sleeve. Sometimes I like to hold them right here when I hold the dumbbells because I have hyperhidrosis and I sweat a lot for my hands. Those, so this kind of helps me until I get my wrist wraps. <clears throat> but it's not enough sweat to where I'm like, okay, I need chalk. Cause I feel like I'm doing too much with chalk, girl. Like it's just dumbbell shoulder press. Like we're not pulling anything. So that's why I don't bust out the chalk even though I keep liquid chalk on me at all times. But I think we're gonna go up to this is our second working set, so we should what? We should go to 40s? 40s. I think I did 12. Sometimes I black out and think I did a certain number of reps and I didn't. But that felt good. I need to see in the beginning of my reps, I'm not even gonna lie, or my, my, my beginning sets, I love to not brace my core. It's a bad habit I have, specifically when I'm doing um, shoulder press. So I need to focus on bracing my core when I go up. I think I'm gonna bust out the wrist wraps. Make sure you're bracing your core properly. Spe especially for your heavy lifts, guys. You'll notice a world of difference and you'll protect your freaking spine. <sighs> Take a rest period and we're gonna go up to 45s. I lied, we're going for 50s. My man give me uppies, <laughs> you know, set me up for my set. I haven't set myself up with 50s in a minute, so <sighs> setting up was hard. Also, I just don't like this bench. Anybody who has a particular bench that they like to use, this bench is not it. Just the way that it sits, it's not, the seat doesn't incline enough to like pocket you in. You know what I mean? Like you have to really brace your core and prevent yourself from sliding forward with the seat because it's not inclined. So that's another, I'm just gonna account, accredit that to that, to me struggling a little bit more. But I think, well, I can't even talk right now. I think I'm gonna drop it down to 45s because I have a fear because one time I tried to go for your PR by myself without someone um, giving me an up and I tweaked my shoulder, my left shoulder weird. And I'm not trying to do that again. So I think we're gonna drop it down to 45s and that'll be a, our last set for this. for that 10, I was tasting my lunch. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go on to some lateral raise. 
something a little bit more tame. I like to do these on the cables. So we're gonna move over to the cables. Okay, I did my first set of single arm lateral raises and I like to do them with this little attachment here. I do not have the cuff attachment. You know, the ones that cuff to your arms, Velcro to your arms, and then it has a little D-ring so you can hook the actual cables to it. I don't have those. I need to order some off of Amazon. I just prefer it this way because just the mind to muscle connection and doing it feels so much better versus just holding the actual cable in your hands. To me, it's just too much wrist action versus here. I can really focus on pulling the weight up with my elbows like you want to think i'm lifting with my elbows lifting with my elbows and you can really feel those lateral shoulder muscles working it's personal preference you know everybody's mind to muscle connection works differently but for me personally i prefer to do it this way say i switched to doing this i want to say two months ago and it's worked phenomenally for me i need to stop running my mouth because with these i like to go to 15 reps but i like to cut my rest periods down to about 30 seconds to a minute and like really focus on keeping it short so i can get as many i just really want to focus on volume here so um that's what we're gonna do I'm trying to find the sweet spot of how many sets to record for you guys without getting boring and repetitive because I've been getting bored when I'm editing my own videos like for the workouts at least because like yeah we get it girl like you do four sets of pretty much every fucking set unless it's leg day then I look to be doing three um, as of recently I haven't filmed a leg day for you guys in a minute because I'm not gonna lie I skipped leg day for like three weeks in a row no a month I did it last week though um, yeah I need to do my little 30 seconds I'm gonna go back at it again. I think I'm only gonna film two sets of this. I'm doing four though, I'm doing four. I'm really sweating now, you guys. What am I doing? I'm here, I just did two sets. Oh, let me fix my camera. I just did two sets. Uh, we're doing front raises, single arm front raises on the cable machine. So we're still at the cable machine. I really like these because cables just has a, a unique tension, obviously, because it's cables. And it really just gives you the pump, gives you the burn, gives you, I don't know, I just, I feel so much more fatigued. And then I like to lean over a little bit more. Either I'm hinging to, like leaning to the side and holding onto this as you saw in the previous exercise, or I just hinge forward from the hips to um, increase the range of motion. So really focusing on trying to stretch the muscle with under a load, God, just holding the camera. My arm is burning, but same thing. We're gonna film some two exercises for this just to give you guys two different angles so it's not boring for you. And um, yeah, we're doing four sets of 10 because I physically cannot do 12. I cannot get to 12. I'm struggling with 10, 10 reps. So each arm, each arm. Oh God, I'm, I'm dying.
my right shoulder is fucking giving out, dude. I don't know what the hell. I am fighting for my life out here. I know you guys saw me struggling on that right shoulder. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Five more for my fucking life. Okay, I only got one more set. Oh, BT dubs. <laughs> I ended up doing five sets for my last exercise because I miscounted and usually I keep track of by filming each set for you guys since we're not doing that this time. I did five, so we did, we did more, so. Okay, as you saw, we did rear outs, bent over rear out, fly single arm on the cable machine. I like to use the other cable machine because it can go a little bit lighter in weight and that one was taken at the moment, so I just, AMRAP as many as possible. I like the lighter weight because I think it drops down to a seven and then a five. And I like that rep range because I can get a better squeeze for my rear downs and obviously I can't go super heavy on those. So that's why I prefer to drop down. Hopefully in a future workout I can show you guys which um, cable machine I'm talking about. But I like the variation of weights on that other cable machine. But we are finishing up with another exercise for rear delts. We're doing some rear delt flies on the fly machine. And we're doing these for four sets of 15. I really love to burn out the rear delts because for the longest time at the beginning of my fitness journey, I used to neglect rear delts. And then I was super unproportional. So, and then my brother used to <laughs> make fun of me for it. So now ever since then, I'm like obsessed with rear delts. So. It's like burned into my mind to not forget Rudolph. So this is what we're doing. We have two sets left. I already did two, so we have two left. There was like a couple of people that came in and it was a group of guys right next to me and I just feel so awkward talking to the camera and there's people right there and they didn't have any headphones in. It would have been a little bit different if they had their headphones in. They did not have their headphones in so I wasn't trying to be like hee dee 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 So yeah, let's do a quick pump check. Looking like this, it's like wow, she has no muscle and it's like this and it's like oh, she kind of lifts. She kind of lifts. <sighs> okay. Now we're gonna gather our belongings and go ahead and head home. Well friends, I forgot to end the vlog last night, but that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you.